Welcome to Iron Horse Garage. We were going to do a review on this Bauer drum sander. Problem is, we were using it for just under four hours and it busted. So now we got to go in the store and return it for a new one. Not starting off too good. Not off to a good start. Can you tell me how long, how long was it? when we purchased this one. So about a month ago, it was 607. Okay, so about a month ago. Okay, I appreciate it. Oh, you're welcome. Thank yep. you. Thanks. One great thing about Harbor Freight is there's no hassle warranty. We had this baby just over 30 days. Uh, they found it on their computer system and I was able to exchange it with no hassle. That's the good news. Now let's go do a review on this to see how long she lasts. Let's get ready for stripping! With the Bauer 9 amp surface conditioning tool weighing in at 8 pounds. And the Metabo angle grinder weighing in at 4.2 pounds. And in Jason's corner, we'll be doing a rectangular shape from here to here. And in Aaron's corner, also doing a rectangular shape from here to here. Three, two, one, strip! Finish him! Fatality! Flawless victory. Look, man, you didn't even make your full square. Yes, this guy went, look at that. Here's my opinion. A regular strip disc you can put on any grinder you own. You can put that on a Metabo grinder, Milwaukee grinder, DeWalt grinder, Makita grinder, grinder, all the grinders. Where can you put that drum stripper disc drum thing? You can put it on one style of grinder and you have to pay $150 for that bad boy Harbor Freight. Or you can buy the Eastwood Contour one. But you can only use it on one tool. The strip disc is more versatile because you can put it on anything you own. You don't have to buy a separate grinder. You can use it on your original. What does Jason have to say about that? Unfortunately, I think he's probably right. So far, Jason is the only fan of the drum sander. I believe that it's a lot of hype. What do you think? Jason, still not convinced, we create another challenge, marking off a three by four section. The time is ticking with no paint sticking.
With minimal effort, this drum sander takes this challenge to the bank. The end goal of this challenge being the smoothest surface, I take my sweet time. Jason secures the win. This is the surface condition of the normal strip disc. Pretty smooth, pretty nice. This is the surface conditioning tool from Harbor Freight. Also pretty smooth and pretty nice. I'd say that's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. Also pretty nice. The drum we used is the 40 grit stripping drum because that was the most comparable to the strip disc. It also comes with the 120 grit finishing drum, 240 grit. This is a smoother finish, maybe for, like Jason was saying, direct over metal, if you're going directly over the metal with primer. Uh, that one that Aaron uses, maybe, would be good if you're putting filler directly over uh, the metal, because then it gives a little bit rougher surface for the filler to stick to, and maybe for surface conditioning, maybe this guy here is a little better if you're wanting a smooth surface. $150, $40. Dollars local. Top of it.